Good morning everyone. Today I'm going to do something I thought I'd never do. If it looks like it's going to work out, I'm going to walk a dog in a buggy. So, as most of you know, Oti was supposed to be my second dog. She was supposed to be alongside my last working collie. Didn't work out. My collie got increasingly ill, unfortunately. She, unfortunately, she'd had mammary tumours for a few years. And then during the first lockdown, she became very depressed, didn't understand life. We decided it was time to let her go, which meant Oti's been an only dog and I've wanted a second one. So I've got Little Eggs Merlin, who is a corgi collie cross. Um, but my lifestyle is very different to previously when I was on farms, etc. And you could have a puppy out for a short while and put it back in the stable. Because I work long shifts, I can sometimes be limited on the time I have to exercise dogs. And as much as I'd love to have time to do two walks every day, long walk for Oti and a shorter one for him, I just don't. He has been in his rucksack which has worked absolutely brilliantly. Um, same as Oti had one when she was younger. And it's been a godsend. But he really has outgrown it now. And I do worry about my balance as well. My balance isn't great. And I'd hate to fall over and slip on muddy tracks with him on my back. So a friend offered to lend me a buggy. And if this one doesn't work out, I might still do that. Um, but we can't do that for a couple of weeks. So these have come down in price so much. It's a poor hut pet stroller. And they've come down to £40. So I thought at that price, it's worth giving a go. So let's get it out and have a look at it. Okay, I didn't think I'd be having to put it together quite this much. If I'd realised that, I'd have done so at home. But let's read the instructions and see what I need to do. Okay, nice clear instructions. I can get on board with that. That's no problem at all. Okay, it is a little fiddly. These pins are tricky to get in place. So something to be aware of. We used to use much larger versions on the carriages. But these are a bit tiny and fiddly. Okay, this last bit really isn't particularly helpful. Right, I'll have another look and see what I can figure out. The bit that was confusing me in the instructions is plastic bumper from the front. So we'll get that screwed on now. Right, these holes aren't drilled particularly well. I don't have a Phillips screwdriver on me, so this front section can stay off for this first walk. This is where it can pay to go back to the product on Amazon. Okay, so this bit of netting was throwing at me. I couldn't see how it went. But I'm looking to get that bit there poppered around the bar, and now it all makes a lot more sense. Right, there we go, gang. What do you think? I must say, it looks pretty well constructed, pretty sturdy. I really never thought I'd be doing this. Um, the advice is up to 10 kilograms. He's four and a half at the moment. I had to debate whether I went a much bigger one that would last us longer. But in all honesty, I'm hoping that this will just get us through until he's big enough to be doing more. He's five months already. I don't know where that time's gone. Um, it's quite a nice tray in the bottom. Because what I want to be able to do is go and do some training with Oti as well, which in rucksack, it's not fair to keep leaning over, pick up dummies, pick up mess and things. Um, he, I had looked at getting a larger rucksack, but that just wasn't going to be the route for me. So let's put him in and see what he thinks. There we go. One puppy in a pushchair. And as you can see, he's actually got loads of room in there. He can lie down comfortably, unlike in the rucksack now. But I'm going to zip him in fully because I don't trust him just yet. It's a new experience. And off we go and we'll see how it goes. What do you reckon, Oates? That bit strange having little brother in there. Right, so that's him tucked in. We're all ready to go. I can see why people use buggies for children or puppies. We've got all the storage in the bottom, so I've got a couple of toys for her. He's coat for if it gets wet. Let's get going. Hey little man, well, he's got really good visibility, I'm not too worried about that, it's really easy to push, it's good height, I might raise that handlebar a little bit if it's an option, but I'll have a look at that, good girl, he's in there, he's alright, right let's go walking and see how we get on, I've deliberately chosen a walk today 
the nice straight tracks. Straight off, I should have gone for four wheel design. This is very unbalanced. It would be absolutely perfect pavement. Not so great for what I'm doing. The brakes work well. I've just put them on because I'm going to get him out. And now we're out in woods. He can get out and go and have a run. Um, so yeah, yeah, I'm impressed that they're holding on this surface, on this hill. Right, I've had it out for five minutes and I've already messaged a marketplace seller who was selling a more robust one second hand to see if they still got it. The buggy is actually, it is absolutely fine and it would be no problem at all. It'd be ideal on pavements, around shops. It's nice and neat and small. But I think for what we're doing, it's not going to be the right item. The more I'm using it, actually, it's not as bad as I thought it was. Smelly, smelly, smelly! Good boy! As you can see there, I've just left it without any brakes on while we do a recall. Good boys and girls! Are you being led astray by your big sister? I've got no problems if it's going to tip over or do anything. Good children, well done! You can see how he ends up doing so much more exercise than I'd like him doing at this age. He's led astray by you, Mrs, isn't he? Molly, too far, good boy. Good boy, well done. And this is why I need the buggy or something to give him a break. Right, I know you're intrigued, aren't you, Oti? Come on then, let's carry on, guys. You can see, it's easily steerable one hand. Um, maybe I was a bit unfair, that first bit of path isn't the easiest. So, well, maybe I was being a bit unfair to it. As you can see, this is a pretty rough track. And in fairness, it's managing it. No issue at all. Good boy. Come on, Bob, Good lad. Come on then, on you go. We're going to end up wheeling over your lead. Good children. Good boy. Well done. Right, a bit more of a challenge. Mm. Actually, we get home. That's, no, and that's the problem. Okay, so that's why it's not going to suit what I'm doing. If that front wheel catches, it turns, it tilts, and it will fall over. So yeah, that's what I originally said. Absolutely brilliant for pavements in town. The flat routes, like I could take this along the Tarka Trail or something along that line, the old cycleways, no problem at all. Just not for what I'm doing. So he's done more than his little legs need to do at this stage, haven't you little man? So I've popped him back in and actually with that front netting there, and I'm going to clip him onto the clip there as well. I don't think I'm going to need to do the top up. Let's we'll see how it goes. Oh, Otie, darling, you're... Yeah, if you're going to do that, you will get zipped in. OK, so that's why we're going to zip this on top. Good children. Oh, Otie, you do make me smile, darling. She's so proud having her little brother in a buggy. Of course, it's usually only human babies, which she finds quite exciting anyway. Right, should we carry on, guys? So having a buggy is definitely going to be the right call for me. Um, I want to be able to do things like this. Let's pop one toy up there. Oh, to come! I haven't brought a whistle out, but it does mean I can give Oti just a little bit of work and not worry about him. Good girl. Here. And sit up. Nice. Away. scent of it, nose has gone down. Yes, good girl. Well done, in front. Sit up. Okay, back up, it's not very nice there. Oti, in front and sit up. Good girl, well done, good job. So you can see that's gonna work really nicely and that's one of the reasons I want somewhere safe for him. It's just unfortunate that that's not the right one. There we go, good girl, well done you. What I will say for it, even after over this really bumpy ground, 
Well, he's not being bumped around inside at all. Um, considering there's very little suspension, he's actually having a really good ride. He's not whinging and he's not being sick. And this is the puppy that was travel sick, even in rucksack to start with. So, yeah, actually, he's really quite happy with that. If I didn't worry about it falling over on even slight slopes, etc., or catching a front wheel, I'd carry on with it because it's made this walk so much easier. Then you go back to one handed. Yeah, there we go. I guess the reality is for me, to my mind, this is one of our easier tracks. It's a made up track and I think it is pretty easy walking. Oh, you come! But in terms of what the manufacturers expect a dog buggy to do, even this is probably pushing it. Good girl, well done! For what's being asked. Yeah, you can see that from the just call. But again, having said that, it, it's doing the job and it is coping. I've just got to really think about it and that's not what I want to be doing. Let's see how it does getting onto the road. Oh wow, what a difference. So even a rotted Devon lane like this, that's now easy and this is what it's designed for. You can hear me breathing heavily. Of course, having a puppy in a buggy is far harder work on the hills than I'd expected. But there we go. We're ending the walk on a made up road. This is easy, one handed. This is what it's designed for. So there you go. So final challenge, folding it up to put it back in the car. I'll go back to the instructions and see what we need to do. That just took me way too long to figure it out. But you know, it really is easy. It's just lifting up, they're on springs, lift up both of them and fold. It really is that simple. I just made it far more complicated. Right, let's pop it away. So, my verdict on the poor hot pet stroller. It's three wheeled. Absolutely brilliant. If you're in town, nice and neat, easy to manoeuvre, a lightweight, perfect for an older dog or a puppy in that sort of scenario. For what I'm doing, walking on tracks in the woods and things, not up for the job, not the right thing. That's okay, my fault. I ordered the wrong product, but it was worth giving it a try. So I'm going to go and pick up a different one this afternoon from Marketplace and this one will go on Marketplace to find its right person. So there we go. Thank you for watching and I hope that that will help someone else make the right decision for them. Take care everyone.